Hey guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Today we're going to be doing another app review, and it's going to be on Flood for Android. Now, Flood is a torrent program so that you can download all your torrents to your Android device. Now, there's been some um, issues with a lot of the torrent applications to come out on the Play Store um, over the last couple of years. Um, generally, the case has been that um, if you don't buy the torrent application, the free version is really going to suck. Um, I used to use A-Torrent a lot and um, that ended up getting really bad and I ended up switching to Flood and the free Flood version is okay, it's just you got to put up with adverts down at the bottom left hand side of the screen which for me I, I can't stand so I just paid for this app and it works really really well. Maybe the best torrent um, app I've ever used for Android. Lots of settings, really customizable, works with all the websites. Um, this is the main screen right here. So you've got your all, your queue, your finished, your details, status, files, trackers, peers, and pieces. Up at the top um, right hand corner, you've got your magnet links to manually add a magnet link. Um, you've got RSS feeds. I've actually never used this feature, but you can add RSS feeds so you don't have to actually go to. I don't know, say the Pirate Bay, for instance. Um, you can actually just get find all the newest stuff right here through an RSS feed. You've got your search, so you can search for a torrent. Um, you got your play settings. Well, that's sorry, your start settings. Um, <clears throat> and then you got all your more in-depth settings here. You got pause all, modify queue, session status, settings, rate this app, shut down. Settings is the most important here because it gives you settings to um, set your default download location so you can set it to your um, internal SD card or your external SD card depending on whether you um, are able to write to your ex external SD card or not. Um, then if we go back we've got settings for bandwidth so you can set a maximum download speed or a minimum download speed or sorry maximum upload speed. I guess you don't have a minimum uh, setting. You've got a queue so you can enable how many active downloads you have or active uploads or total number of active torrents, period. You've got your interface settings, which I've actually never really messed with before. So if we click on theme, I guess we have a light and a dark theme. I'm going to go ahead and click on the dark theme. It says apply this selected theme immediately. The application will restart. Any downloads, uploads will continue. I'm going to go ahead and press yes and see what happens. Oh wow, and you know what, I actually like this a lot better than the default white, so I'm glad I tried that out with you guys today. So let's go ahead and go back to settings. Now we saw what was an interface, we've got the theme settings, we've got add to downloads app, we've got a whole bunch of different settings right here. Oh, also your notification settings are here too, so you can enable a sound in case you want to hear a sound every time a torrent finishes. Um, you got your network settings. Tread carefully here, otherwise if you don't know what you're doing, you could screw up the app. Um, you got power management, so you can set it so that if your battery runs low, it'll turn off or whatever. Uh, we've got feeds, and again, that's to do with the RSS feeds, so this will just allows you to set the refresh settings of how often it checks the feed for uh, new torrents. And about, which is just the stuff about this app. Um, let's head over to the Play Store and check it out there. And here we go. There's the free version, as you can see on the, the top left-hand side. And then we got the ad-free version, uh, which I actually honestly can't remember how much I paid for this. Um... Just trying to see if it's here. I want to say it was like a dollar. I mean, it was between a dollar and four dollars. I, I, I'm leaning towards a dollar. Really great app. Again, if you use torrents on your uh, cell, cell phone or tablet, Flood is the app to be using. Um, it never crashes. I've not had any unpleasant experiences with this app. As you can see here in the comments section under the 4.8, Josh Massa says here, simply 
Simple, stylish, and superb. I couldn't agree more. It is definitely the best torrent app on Android. So go ahead, go to the Play Store, type in Flood, and download it for your device today. If this uh, review helped you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for future reviews on apps and roams for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 12.2. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys later.